All right, so let's say you've got nine RGB fans inside your case. Each fan has two cables running off it, one for power, one for lighting. That's 18 cables, 18 cables to deal with just to have RGB fans. And that doesn't even include the cables from the hub, ridiculous. So Lee and Lee thought, hmm, I guess it's not really that practical to have three million cables running off your fans. And so they came up with these. They go by the name Unifan SL120 and well, they're genius. They're daisy chainable, which means that if I were to kit out my entire case with these, I'd only need to deal with six cables coming from the fans instead of 18, which is pretty awesome. Here's what you get in the box. 12 screws, a smaller box that contains the fan hub, that's the thing that you'll need to connect all your fans to. There's some double-sided foam tape so you can stick the hub to the inside of your case, along with all the necessary cables to get everything hooked up. There's also some instructions. This thing is the connector which connects each set of fans to the hub. And finally, three 120mm fans, which by the way, are available in black or white. I've got the white ones. Now, one thing I'd say Lee and Lee are pretty well known for is build quality. Everything I've ever bought from them has been solid. Now, I didn't buy these fans, Lee and Lee sent them to me, but they are no exception. They feel solid and they just look really premium. I've been loving the brushed aluminium look recently. Here you've got some nice little accents on the side of the fans and also the center to match. I'm actually glad they paid attention to the side of the fans. A lot of companies don't bother, but whatever configuration you're doing, at some point you'll see the side of the fan. So you might as well make it look good. The same goes for the back too, they have put lights on the exhaust side of the fan, so whichever way you mount these, you'll still be able to see the RGB. Speaking of the lights, I really like how they've just gone for this edge lighting design rather than lighting up the entire fan blade. And also they've gone away from the whole circle thing and veered more towards angular lines, which I think looks more modern. It looks especially good if your case has tinted panels because then all you really see is the cool Tron lines, the middle of the fan sort of disappears. I like it. They've also diffused the light really nicely. There's zero LED hotspots, Corsair QL120s, I'm looking at you. Another thing, when they're mounted inside your case, they actually have this rear glow effect where the lights on the other side illuminate the back of whatever it is that you've mounted them to. Looks really cool. Okay, so to set these up, here's what you need to do. Decide on how many fans you're using in the given location. I'll be using three in a side exhaust setup on the Lian Li PCO11 Dynamic. Line them up and snap them together. Once you've snapped them all together, you can go ahead and attach this connector, which slides in more or less the same way that the fans did. There's two cables running off this, one for lighting, one for power, and they both connect to the fan hub. Now this part is genius. So I know most cases don't support this, but you can actually have up to four fans daisy chained in a row. However, those four fans will only take up one lighting and fan power connector on the control hub. And there's four sets of those connectors. So that means you can have up to 16 fans running off this one hub, which is insane. You can tell they've actually tried to think this through and maximize your options while keeping cables to a minimum. It would have been really annoying if the maximum amount of fans you could run off this hub was six, for example, because then in my case, I'd end up needing two hubs, which is more cables. And then it kind of just defeats the purpose of this idea altogether. Anyway, once all your fans are hooked up to the hub, you'll then need to connect the hub to your PC to provide power to the fans, as well as to control the RGB lighting. Now there are four cables here. First off the SATA power connector, hook that up to your PSU, that's to provide power to the hub and to the fans. You've got a PWM connector, hook that up to a fan header on your motherboard, that way you'll have full control over fan speed curves in the BIOS. As regards lighting control, you've got a couple of options. Option A is to control the lighting via the motherboard using its own RGB software. To do that, you'll need to connect this cable to an addressable RGB header on your motherboard. Option B is to control it all via Lian Li's L Connect software. To do this, you'll need to hook up the USB connector to a spare header on your motherboard. That's what I'll be doing because one, I hate motherboard RGB software, it sucks, and two, I wanna show you some of the features built into L Connect. Now the software is actually listed on the box, so go download it and run the installer. Now in this build, I'm using three fans and I connected them to group one on the fan hub. And here's group one in the software. As you can see, we can control fan speed, so I'm gonna set them to quiet, and you can see they're running around 900 RPM. There's quite a few options here, although if you've already got custom fan curves set in your BIOS, just set it to PWM and it'll let your motherboard take care of it. Next, you'll see the LED mode section. This is where you can control the light in. You'll notice in the top right, there is an override switch in case you do in fact want to control the light in via your motherboard's RGB software. I'll demo all the effects built into L Connect for you now, though bear in mind that two of them are sync effects, which require you to have more than one set of fans, so I'll skip those ones. But anyway, here we go.
So I reckon it's a pretty decent set of effects. I'd say they've definitely made the most of the unique LED placement on the fans and I like the fact that the effects run across all three rather than just playing the same effect on each fan. Although I mean obviously they're daisy chained so I guess they're treated as one single light. Quite a lot of the effects have dual colour options as well so you can set the colours you want. I also like the fact that you can change the direction in the stack effect for example so that you can have it run from top to bottom instead of the other way around. One small issue I came across, you might have noticed the speed of some of the effects don't seem to quite match up with the software. Could just be a bug, I haven't seen anybody else having this issue as of making this video, but yeah, I thought I'd just let you guys know. Now not only do these fans look really good while saving on cables, they also perform well too. I'll put the spec sheet up on screen now for those of you that are interested, but anyway, RPM tops out at 1900, they are static pressure, so they'll work well on a radiator for example, and they're not very loud. I usually have mine set on the quiet profile, so around 900 RPM, and yeah, they're pretty much silent, I can't hear them. It's only once you go above 1400 that you can actually start to notice the fan noise. And remember guys, if you want really quiet fans, you can always get yourself some lovely beige noctuas, the epitome of style, I won't judge. But yeah, there we have it guys. I think Lee and Lee have nailed this product. I love the aesthetics. I just get sick of seeing boring circles, to be honest. It's like, just change it up a bit. And they have. Build quality is spot on, although I wish the white fans were a bit more white. They're slightly gray, but I mean, once you've got all your RGB lighting on, you can't really tell. Performance is good. The software doesn't suck. And of course, the killer feature is, you have like 75% less cables to deal with and they followed that idea all the way through even down to the fan hub which can support up to 16 fans. Price, $80 for a three pack that includes the control hub which I actually think is a perfectly reasonable price for the level of quality you get in and of course the innovation here is going to make your cable management life a whole lot easier. Lee and Lee, you did good. If you want to check them out, links will be down in the description. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you. If you enjoyed, a like rating would be appreciated. It helps me out. And if you want to see more, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. You can follow me on Instagram at Tech Tesseract for all the behind the scenes stuff. With that being said, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.